This is JG from uh, CoreLogic Sales Engineering Team. Today we're going to talk about our new lock screen. You can go on the website, look for a tutorial, and here are all the details of the amazing new features that we added. I'm going to take you guys to a quick tour. First things first, we do have dark mode now. You can click on the settings, switch back to dark or light mode, it, um, hide the filters, edit the rows, anything you'd like to do. If you are still not ready to switch, you need a bit of time to practice, you can go into our old lock screen. So what are the main differences? Here you can still search for a query, but it's now a little bit easier to use the quick search. You still have relative, custom, and the tag, and we now have the automatic refresh. So if I enable this, and I pick obviously 15 minutes, then that query will automatically refresh for the next uh, in the next 15 minutes. Go back in here. Maybe look at the two days and there you go. You can still obviously look for keyword, enter your search here with error. Uh, you also have the possibility to see the timeline distribution here. I like all the different level are nicely, nicely organized. We can still select the range, click out. This will show you the specific range you're looking at. And if you want to go back, we now have a nice reset feature. That's going to reset all your screens so you can start a new search. Now, we also um, added some, some help to search, right? Sometimes you, you try a keyword and you use our help, but you maybe would like to learn CoreLogic a little bit better. In order to do this, once you see all your messages, you now have the possibility to select the field, for example, this IP, click on it, and then you can add it to the query. Right, so this shows you pretty much how you would search for this specific IP with just a click. I can obviously create an alert if I want to get to our awesome state of the art alert feature. Uh, I can also, a lot of our users needed to kind of like or, um, make the rows a little bit smaller so it's easier to read. So now we have that condensed row and expand row, and I'm gonna reset it and go back to the beginning. So you want that represent on the whole screen. There we go. So a little bit easier to read. Uh, so it's easier to search. I can I can click typically on a term here. I can try another one here. Let's do, for example, the country. I can add it to the query if I want to, and I can also still do some pretty cool visualization. When it comes to quick visualization, we also added the logarithmic scale. So I can click on this and organize this. If you have really low values, sometimes it's hard to see in just a regular scale. So improve time picker improve search when you can literally learn the query language with just a couple of click add it to the query get the message here make it easier to organize you can expand the row but now you can also drag and drop if you want to um, remove some things maybe like here let's take the example of the subsystem you don't want to get this one but maybe you want to get just the IP address we'll just move it apply it and there you go. So this one doesn't have a value. That's why it's empty. And again, I can click on reset, go back and reorganize my uh, view. Another thing that we added is the selection of all the metadata here. So you are able to select everything and then you can actually some, do something really cool. If you, if you don't want to like remove these things and select one by one, you can also do something like this only. It's only going to show you the AWS field maybe i'm gonna only look at this cloud trail all of this also searchable i can just type my information here and then go from there so it's easier to search everything is now click away if i'm trying to understand a different type of role i click here again i visualize it in this case i have two and then i can add it to the query either include it exclude it or just query that value. So if I include, let's try this one, this one, and then let's say I want to also include that address. I'm going to include it. And there you go. You're easily building a Boolean query here with just a couple of clicks. I'm going to reset it. And I'm going to show you one more time the column. If I decide obviously to add more things, I can do so. So in summary, our new lock screen is easier to search, it is easier to select a time range, 
we now have the automatic query that have been added and it's easier to organize all this if I want to organize the column I can drag and drop I want to condense the row so it's pretty much easier to search easier to visualize and much more easier to use I hope this is helpful feel free to go on our website get more into the details all the informations look for this tutorial and remember we're just a click away 24 7 support within the CoreLogix app thanks again bye